Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. Um, I know it has been a hot minute since I have posted anything, uh, but today we are going to be looking at this tent that is propped up right here behind me, um, which is the Eureka Copper Canyon LX6. So before this tent, my wife and I had a three person tent, but since, you know, we have two kids now um, who are three and, well, you got two and three, one's about to be four. Um, so we needed a bigger space because the four of us going camping was rather tight in the old tent. So this is what we upgraded to. So just run down quick specs and then we'll get into the nitty gritty of the video. Um, so this thing weighs 24 pounds, five ounces. So obviously not a backpacking tent, clearly something you're gonna take uh, car camping, which is exactly what we did when we went with it. Uh, it has the main door that's right here behind me. Overall length and width is 120 inches by 120 inches, so 100 square feet. Pretty good amount of space. Um, the height at the center is 84 inches tall, um, which is really nice considering I'm almost six foot tall and can stand completely up in the thing and get dressed, no issues. Always been a struggle, you know, with the tent, um, normal size height. So um, it's a six person capacity tent. Um, so now, now that all that's out of the way, Let's actually take a look around this thing and let's see what this thing has going on and uh, kind of talk about why my wife and I chose this one. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so let's do a quick walk around of the outside of the tent uh, before I take you inside um, and kind of show you some of the cool features on the inside here. So starting out on the front, um, as you guys can see here, you got just this one big door. It's your main door um, that you come in and out of. Um, this mesh screen here does on the inside. There's one zipper here on the outside, um, and then on the inside is the actual zipper for the rain, the rain fly, which is there. Um, as you can see, you got a couple spots here um, and here, so you can actually roll your door up all the way, which I'll show you guys that here in just a little bit. Um, but just kind of walking around the outside. So our tent pole setup is, we just have these four corner tents here, um, or four corner poles rather than tents, because the whole thing's a tent, you know. Um, four corner poles that connect via these rubber, um, I, I'd say the rubber, but they're hard rubber, um, little connectors to the two poles that go across the top to match up your ceiling, which is, again, how you get that really tall height. So get these four huge windows, um, which you can have closed all the way. I don't have the corners tucked down or tucked up in the corners here, but this is your rain fly. You can also do it to where it's halfway or full vent, which I'll show you guys that once we get inside. Uh, just kind of walking around to the back. Same thing here on the back. Uh, just another big window here. Um, so there is plenty of ventilation that can come through this thing if you couldn't tell based off of that, as well as the, the mesh, all the mesh up there up top. Um, one of the cool things about this tent, um, is this little power port here um, which opens and closes with a zipper so it's got a little flap over the top so you can run your electrical cord through there um, you know put it in there zip it up close it up rain washes right over it if it does happen to rain um, so with that being said let me uh let me open this bad boy up and we'll hop right back into this All right, so as you can see, I've got the, the main door open up. So let's take a quick look inside um, and see what we got going on in there. All right, so we step inside here. I will show you guys the back side of the... So here's the main door closed. And then you can see you've got the secondary zipper here and tertiary zipper here, which unveils your uh, rain fly. So you have even more ventilation once those are completely opened up. All right, and uh, like I was saying here, so to finish closing these up, you just take your little hooks, um, which are kind of cool, these little, I guess you call them J-hooks, and you just put them in this corner here. And then from there, you just tighten this part down, which draws your window nice and tight. So that way when it does rain, um, everything stays out. So one of the things that I liked about it was, hey, in the mornings getting dressed, uh, you can close these things all the way up. Trying to do this one-handed is not exactly the easiest. Uh, there we go. So then uh, throughout the day, you can of course open these up. Um, if it's semi-windy or whatever, you can open them up for halfway ventilation or you know, eventually if you needed it or wanted full ventilation um, and has the ability to do so by just popping these things down and then just letting it hang there. And of course, you don't just want to hang there. So 
you can literally just roll this up in itself um, and it kind of tucks in and this bottom little section you can see it's kind of sewn in right here and as you roll it back up it kind of tucks down in there um, so um, let me let me just roll it up real quick and I'll show you guys um, kind of what that looks like hang on one second So as you can see now, um, it just literally just rolls down into itself just to kind of tuck and stay out of the way um, to give your floor just that more open feeling. Um, another cool thing about it is you've got two different size pockets here. One, two, not only on that side, but this side as well. Um, and you can see here in the corner, you have hooks galore. Um, there's one in each corner. So two, three, I'm being redundant here, but here, four, um, four different hooks you can put stuff on as well as up here up top there's actually a little gear loft um, that connects um, and even with that there I can still walk underneath it so let me actually go get that and I'll put that up for you guys real quick here all right guys so here we go um, we've got the two um, little netting here that makes up the gear loft so you can see it goes here hooks into these little hooks up here on the ceiling you got one there another one here and then the final third one, which goes there. We do the same thing for this side, just to give you guys the full effect here. There, there, and then again, meeting up with this one here in the middle. If I can get that one in now, it's a little tough with the other one already. So there we go. Part of the dog in the background there. All right, but see, I am almost six foot tall, and even with the gear loft in place, it still doesn't even touch my head. Uh, there is another hook up here, if you if you can see that. Thank you. Um, right there, that I, we actually hung our lantern from in here to provide light throughout the night. Um, so, that is the quick overview of it. Um, all right, so one last thing I did think about real quick is, as you can see, I do not have the rain fly on tonight. However, it does come with a rain fly um, that does have a small little um, vestibule, I guess if you would, almost awning kind of thing that pops up to cover the door a little bit. Um, but it has its spots. Um, you'll see there in just a second. Um, there's a spot here on this connector to this tent pole. And here as well where that will go through and connect to the rain fly um, also one of the cool things about the rain fly is on the the bottom of the tent you can see this one's orange um, and this one is orange but on the opposite side of the tent um, those tie outs are actually black and this side as well um, is black and so what that means um, or what that does rather is so once you are going to put your rain fly up, correspond um, the straps or the stretchy bits on them. One side will be orange and one side will be black. So you know which way your rain fly goes on your tent. Uh, makes it really easy um, to do that and put on. Um, took me a minute to get it because I kind of started to put it on backwards and then realized, oh hey, the orange goes with the orange and the black goes with the black. That's what happens when you don't read instructions, right? So um, that'll save you a little bit of time, a little bit of hassle um, doing that on your setup. One of the cool things about um, the weekend that we actually went camping was it was a torrential downpour. And I mean torrential downpour. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip of the rain, just the noise of the rain. I took this in the middle of the night, um, just the noise of the rain, and this was just a small clip of about probably three to four hours minimum of just this rain nonstop. And there was not a single bit of water that got into the tent. Um, and it was our first night in this tent, so we were like, what happens if it leaks? Luckily, we didn't have to find out what happens if it leaked um, because it stayed completely dry. It was awesome. So if you're worried about water getting into this tent because of all the ventilation um, and the, the quality of the seal of the windows once it rolls up like that, um, don't worry at all. I mean torrential downpour and we stayed completely dry. So um, Rainfly works really, really well as well as the windows and the door um, rain flies on those to keep everything dry inside. All 
right, so we've taken you through the tent, um, all of the the main details of it. So let's talk about some of the reasons that my wife and I ended up going with this tent. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, we had a three person tent. Um, however, now our two toddlers are coming with us now camping. So we need something bigger to house all four of us. So that's why we ended up going with a six person tent to give us that space. Um, so here's what we paid for it. Uh, first off, Eureka is not paying me to say this. They didn't send me this tent. I went out with my own money, um, went to REI um, up in Brentwood, Tennessee, and picked this thing up. Uh, current price for it right now is three hundred and fifteen dollars. Um, after you know, three fourteen ninety five is what it listed at. So I'm just rounding up to three fifteen. Um, however, we didn't end up paying that much for it simply because um, we had something that we had to return, um, which brought the price down close to 80 bucks for us. So it was a really good price for us. Um, checked off a lot of the boxes that we were looking for. Um, I'm the kind of guy who doesn't just make impulse decisions. So I did a lot of reviews for like different tents about this size online. Go figure, a guy doing reviews, reads reviews. So um, yeah, and we it got really good reviews all around. There was only a few that had bad reviews, but there were more good reviews than bad reviews. Um, and I'm sure, you know, quality products, you're going to have a few quality issues here and there. So from what I've heard, the customer service has been really good for those people who did have issues and they got those taken care of for them. Um, the other thing is we went with Eureka because it was a brand we already knew. I have a Eureka sleeping bag, um, one of their zero degree mummy bags, and I absolutely love it. Uh, my wife and I went camping one weekend and it was probably in the low teens, maybe close to single digits. Um, and I was in that thing all night long with no issues whatsoever. So um, based off of that, I knew that, hey, they've already got a quality product out, so I can trust this tent, uh, which like I said, it did fantastic in the rain. So I have no issues whatsoever trusting the quality of a Eureka product at this point. Um, and one of the biggest features for me specifically, doesn't necessarily apply to my wife so much, but I'm almost, like I said, almost six foot tall. So the fact that this had the tall ceilings um, versus a dome style tent, um, which some other family tents are. I mean, the more family tent you get, the more, uh, I would say cabin style, if you would, with the tall walls like that had. Um, but that was one of the big issues for me is, I mean, it was over my head, it's 84 inches tall. So I could get in there, I could change without having to like, you know, scrunch around, do that little awkward shuffle in a tent as you're trying to get your clothes on. No, you can just stand up like a normal human being and just, hey, pull your pant leg over. Um, hey, there's a little firework right there. A little bonus for y'all. It is about to be, you know, the 4th of July week, so um, there's probably dogs and fireworks going to be going off, so I apologize for that. But um, those are some of the reasons that we chose it um, so far. Um, also, I said so far, but also you can kind of see we have this thing about orange things. I've got an orange kayak over here. The tent is orange and blue. Our other three person tent is also orange. So when it comes to being in the outdoors, orange is a very popular color for us. So the fact that it was blue and orange like it is, uh, was also an added bonus. Uh, I don't really care about what color a tent is to be honest with you, because it's just a tent. But the fact that it was blue and orange was a nice little bonus feature for us. So um, those are some of the reasons that we chose it. It's a good family tent. Um, and we are a family of four with two toddlers um, so um, that's one of the main reasons for us getting a bigger tent a family style tent was so that our family can go and be more comfortable it was pretty comfortable with all four of us we had a place for our two tents um, laying this way and the two kids tents laying this way or not tents but um, sleeping bags laying this way and then the extra space on the right hand side for us we just put all of our um, all of our luggage and gear and kids snacks and all that sort of stuff there in the tent have plenty of space still to walk around without tripping over anything so um, overall i think it's a great product and uh, 